Welcome to Hot Rod High School, and this is using a dinosaur to remove and reinstall a tire. Not really, it's a Coats 2020 tire machine. And while it is ancient, it still works just fine at doing the job of removing and reinstalling a tire. So, a uh, little bit about this machine, getting familiar with it here. Uh, we got two pedals on the front of it. The one on the left is there to reinflate the tire. The one on the right operates the pedestal and also the bead breakers, which we'll get more familiar with in a second here. Uh, one thing is a little bit different about this machine is that it has two bead breakers on it. So it actually breaks the bottom bead down here at the same time as breaking the top bead with this arm attachment right here. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So step number one, I'm going to take this centering cone onto the pedestal here, get that wheel and tire assembly centered up, and then I'll take the screw clamp and screw that down into place. Now, I had already removed my Schrader valve uh, from this tire. So typically I'd put my Schrader valve tool in there and spin it until that Schrader valve came out. And then I'd wait until all of the air had come out of the tire before carrying on. So since all the air is already out of this tire, we can go ahead and begin the process of breaking the bead. I'll take and place my top bead breaker right up here. I wanna make sure that the bead breaker itself is down only on the tire. And then this upper portion of it stays out over the edge of the rim. I'll hold onto the handle and depress the right hand pedal so that the bead breaker operates. So now we've got both beads broken on this tire. And one thing that I will always tell you, there is always time for proper lubrication. Words to live by. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of tire lube on there. And now we can use this bar assembly to begin the process of removing the tire. So this bar is kind of everything to this tool. It has a slot in it that fits over that center pedestal and the center pedestal when the right hand pedal is depressed, simply rotates the bar around. We have this side over here for removing the tire. We'll just take and wedge it underneath the edge of the tire to get the tire to come off. And later I'll show you how this hooked end over here is used to reinstall the tire. So, tire removal. Hook under the edge of the bead, push down on the opposite side of the tire while pushing up and over to get the bar assembly to go into place on the pedestal. Now, push down that right hand pedal and the top bead will come off. Okay, now to get the bottom bead off, I'm gonna reach the bar down underneath the edge of the bottom bead, put up and over onto the pedestal, and now I'm ready to depress that right hand pedal and the bottom bead will come off. At this point, you could do your inspection on the tire. You can discard it and get a new one, whatever you got to do. And I'm just going to go through put a little bit more of that lubricant on her. And now I'm ready to reinstall this tire. The reinstallation process is really important. The way that you set the tire up on the machine is the difference between 
the machine doing all the work and it being a really easy job and uh, you struggling and hating this tool and thinking that it doesn't work very well. So I'm gonna take the hooked end of my tire bar here and put that over the rim. And I'm gonna get as much of the tire be down below this area over here. I'm gonna get as much of this side of the tire down as I possibly can. And that's just gonna aid in the process of reinstalling it. So my tire bar is installed on the rim right around here. I've got all this area down below the bead. Now I can depress the right hand pedal and start installing this tire. So now we got the bottom bead on. Now we're just gonna go ahead and repeat that process exactly the same with the top bead. Take and push down, get as much of this top section down below into the middle area of the rim as we possibly can. And then simply going to depress that right hand pedal and kind of like we did that tire CPR in the last tool, we're just gonna follow this around, push down on the tire as it goes. And that's it. So now that our tires are reinstalled, we can reinflate, listening for those two loud pops as the bead sets up on the rim. There was the first pop. Now we'll get the top bead to set. And there we go. Last step, we will reinstall the Schrader valve. And there you have it, using the Coats 2020 tire machine to remove and reinstall a tire on a rim.